Alphabet and then V is a seed name. L F F A O. Hey guys, how's it going? Dan Mori from the Roz and Mocha Show, Kiss 825. Oh, what's up? Where are you? Oh, got a helmet cam on. Yeah. Good. So, MMVAs, how do you think it went? You guys even got Manny from Modern Family to dance. Oh, oh it was yeah. an amazing experience. Yeah, he didn't bring his mother, but uh, he was a shuffling uh, wonder up there on the, on the stage. You guys happy with how you guys did his co hosts? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was the first time, but. Uh, it looked like, you know, we've been doing it every night. Natural. Yeah, yeah, we had a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And that's what we do during our show. Yeah. Every night on tour, you know, we're always going back and forth with the banter and stuff. So, it was great. Yeah, it was fun. Second question over here to the right. Hi, Patrick from Music Blues. Uh, th this week will be exactly a year since you guys released Sorry for Party Rockin'. And that year, what strikes you as the most unexpected thing that has happened to you guys? Oh man, Un it's unexpected. I'd say it has to be between hosting tonight and the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because those both were just like, damn, that's some real shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I mean, when you get a call from Madonna, you know, that's a, that's a pretty big moment, you know. And, you know, at first we turned her down, you know. So we said, uh, we're busy. But uh, she made it work, you know, with the schedule and stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, that, that, you know, and then another thing is too, is that, you know, pretty much everything that we do, we, we've dreamed of. So it's very hard for something to be unexpected because we've thought, I mean, we've thought about hosting before the dreams, you know, and doing all this stuff. So, you know, it's like, now we're here, we get to do it. We were working with a writer and the script and going back and forth. and. You know, the whole time I'm like, this is how it is. This is how they do it. They write in the back. So, you know, for us, it's like really fun to just really get to see how things are done. And uh, we're just really excited to be here. So, you thought of this, even though it's Jonas Brothers, Miley Cyrus, and Selena Gomez, you're like, we're next. Well, yeah, you know, it's all in the dream sequence. You know what I'm saying? You don't understand what's coming next after this because now we know this is possible. Right. So now the dreams is just going crazy. You yeah. Know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? And plus, you know, Canada has always been the first place that has, re you know, received LMFAO, uh, you know, and we went number one here first, and that showed the rest of the world. And then after that, we went number one in 18 other countries. So Canada has always, you know, I mean, we, we sold out the arenas here, you know, uh, last year, you know what I mean? So we love Canada, and the people love us, and we will come back here forever. And, I mean, we might have to get a dual citizenship. That's right. Because that's how long we're going to be here. Yeah. Hey guys, Rudy Blair, 680 News. Right over here. Okay, oh, what's up? Hey, how you guys doing? How do you guys keep that positivity going, especially after, you know, we heard rumors a while ago that you guys were supposed to be splitting up, like there were problems going on. Well, you know, once anybody reaches a level of fame, there's always that, that crazy negative stuff that's going on. I, I always find, you know what I'm saying, they talk about Michael Jackson. Yeah. They talking about Justin B. You know, now they talking about the big party animals, you know what I'm saying? And yeah. It's just it's all good, man, you know. It's all about the dream and, and me and him are doing that for a long time and we're gonna continue to do that. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean it, it's it's part of the game. You know, there's you got your journalists that that's what they do. They try to find the dirt and the things and uh, the rumors and stuff. And that's just part of the whole you know, thing, and, and, and people take one thing, like if he's got a show in South America, if I got a show over here, because we do DJ sets and we do stuff, and they want to. Uh oh. Hello, hello, hey. Okay, it's, it's back on, it's back on. You know, but uh, but see, right there, they're going to say, see, Sky Blue cut out his mic. Because he didn't want him to say the thing, you know. And, uh, you know, but that's part of being creative, and. Uh, uh, but we're family, hello. So we're, you know, we're family. So we're gonna be together forever. You know what I mean? So, Hi. you know, people wanted to be like Michael Jack. They wanted to dress like him. They wanted to. I don't know if they want to talk like him, but uh, but they want to sing like him. 
day. Three, you know, three out of four ain't bad. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. And um, so just, you know, Michael was the greatest entertainer um, of all time. And um, so we would love to, you know, collab. Maybe we'll do a hologram. <laughs> Okay, last question, to the left. Hi, Grace from Yahoo Canada. Um, I know that you guys brought a lot of ideas to the table for the show. What's something that you guys put out there that didn't necessarily make the cut? Oh man, the naked Ooh. skit with Selena Gomez, man. <laughs> yeah. And they struck that, man, as soon as we presented it. We said, no, you know, there'll be distance and everything's cool. And they said, nah, you can't do that. Yeah, and uh, um, oh, remember we were supposed to tear off Katy Perry's oh, man. blouse. And we're gonna still do that. But look, where the hell did you get that from? This is what I'm talking about. Can I get one of them? Shit, you said you wanted to be. <laughs> no, man, yeah, it looks too good because it's a big cup. Usually they give me a small cup and some bullshit. Mm -hmm. That's some real shit. Just I want some real shit. shit. So just those two? Uh, say it again. Just those two? Um, just those two, and then we made some edits. Yeah, we had to. You know, because um, uh, Rico, Rico Rodriguez, we had a lot of things to talk to say about his his, his mother. Yeah. <laughs> on the show, and when you you know that could have been funny. It would have been really funny. It would have been uh, probably funny, but when you see a, a young kid like that, and he's so cool, he's so funny, and it's just great. Just him shuffling and, and being the shuffle bot and, and, and the spirit was so great that um, we had to censor ourselves just because when you're in the presence of the youth um, and you know which is the future of tomorrow, you gotta instill those you know principles because you know yes we're the party kings but we're also very responsible. And you know we're adults, and we recognize that we're adults, and the kids are the kids, and there's a you know a, a difference between that. So um, Rico was one of our favorite, um, you know, co-host, if you will, that came up, and and he's just an amazing dude. So um, oh, yeah. you know that that we kind of censored ourselves on that one. Thank you very much, guys. The West Coast gangster. Thank you. Yeah.